Mickey Mouse is dead. Walt Disney is alive. And dog treats aren't that bad of a choice for dinner. All this and more on Twitter News Weekly. Deflategate is back in the news after Ted Wells delivered his report about the scandal that rocked the NFL last season. And Twitter was all up in arms again over Deflategate. And uh, I guess the, the main takeaway from this report, the Wells report they're calling it, is that more probable than not that the balls were tampered with. So let's see what Twitter had to say about more probable than not that the Patriots are cheaters. I don't really care about the flake gate anymore. I just think they need to come up with a more creative name for the report. Yes, the Wells report, and just because it's Ted Wells. It's selfish. It's, it's, it's flat. It's falling flat. It's, it's not good. As flat come, as the come balls. Up. I didn't even mean that either, so. Yeah. That's my comedy genius. <laughs> Of course, some people had to roll Aaron Hernandez into the Deflategate scandal. Matt Lewis said Aaron Hernandez thought he was just deflating blood from his victims. Hashtag Deflategate. I don't think it's the same thing. I think he's still a murderer, and I think he's still going to go to prison. Some people think maybe, probably, somewhat that the Patriots did it. Joe Caracchio said, hashtag Deflategate. It is likely, probably, somewhat likely, probably, that Brady might have vaguely knew of the deflating. I see you of is off, but I get what you're saying, Joe. I get what you're saying. And yeah, maybe, probably, somewhat deflated balls. Maybe somebody knew about it. Or not. That's what this report sounds like to me. Some people ain't even worried about the deflated balls. Chris Janis said, wait, Tom Brady is Tom Brady Jr.? That's my biggest takeaway from hashtag Deflategate. And that's also one of my biggest takeaways. I think you should add the junior after his name. That's just me though. I like the little junior. And some people just shouldn't be on Twitter at all. Bitch Tit said, some like their balls underinflated. Some like their balls overinflated. I just like balls. Hashtag Deflategate. Please God, no. Please stop tweeting. Please stop it. The fight of the century in quotations, it was not, between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao was Saturday night, and it was not a great fight. As someone who watched it live, it was horribly boring, a lot of holding each other, which I didn't know was a part of boxing. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched the fight in a long time, maybe that's what they do now, it's like a weird sexual dance thing instead of hitting each other. If that's the case, you need to change the rules right now because it wasn't worth it. And naturally, when something this big of, of magnitude happens, and it doesn't deliver, Twitter is in an uproar, and people are not happy. And actually, there are fans who are uh, suing Manny Pacquiao. Oh. Five million dollar civil lawsuit for not disclosing his injury. So Manny, not only did you lose to a piece of crap in Floyd Mayweather, I had to sneak that in there, mm -hmm. but now you're getting sued. So let's see what Twitter had to say about the fight of the century. I thought they were gonna have another fight right after between the Burger King guy and Justin Bieber. That I would have paid a hundred thousand dollars. I heard the Burger King guy was hurt though. He hurt his knee? Yeah. He had a pulled chicken sandwich in his, in his back pocket. That was good. Okay. One Twitter user was dropping some uh, little known facts on us. At the new guru tweeted, so boxing champ Floyd Mayweather Jr. grandfather is Jamaican. Hey! Learn something new every day. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but appreciate you letting us know, new guru. Ryan Sheeran tweeted, at Real Skip Bayless, if Floyd said what Manny said, you would be ripping him, you weirdo. Go in a hole and die. Weir, weir, weir. Here come the grammar police. It's not the right hole you were talking about. Oh no, the cops have a gun. They're going to hurt you. Get away. You, know, you don't fuck with the grammar police. They're going to get you. <laughs> at Spike underscore Siketso tweeted, Manny being sued by ninjas who placed bets on him because he didn't tell that his shoulder was injured. The after effects of hashtag Maypack. You don't mess with ninjas. People think they just like kill people and do secret assassin missions, but they can actually sue you too. They're, they take you out psychologically and also physically. So pack you up. Be careful. And finally, at Double B Side tweeted, Ha ha ha, I forgot all about how awful Jamie Foxx's rendition of the national anthem was at the fight. Wow. Hashtag Mayweather Pacquiao, hashtag Maypack. Jamie Foxx, you are the luckiest person in the world because you sucked terribly. That was a horrible national anthem, but the fight was so bad that no one's even talking about it. You somehow got away with it. 
but nothing's worse than the time you pretended you were blind. I'll never forgive you. And those are this week's top stories. Tune in next week, same time, same great place, youtube.com slash the average nobodies. And while you're on the YouTube page, please like this video, subscribe to the page, like all our other videos, because if you don't, then I'm probably gonna run away and live with wolves and you're gonna be the one to blame. You don't want that. And while you have your Chrome browser opened up, go to twitter.com slash average nobodies, follow us. Go to instagram.com slash average nobodies, Follow us, because we're there too. We're always posting stuff on the blog, AverageNobodies.com, and of course we're on Facebook, Facebook.com slash AverageNobodies. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. We will find you. And we will. We are worse than the NSA. With the ASA, the we're ASS Association. Searching Association. There you go. Got it. So, and until next week, I'm Matt. I'm Ryan. Bye. Hold me closer, time to dance. Do you know Elton John's gay? Mm, too soon. Oh, sorry.